बात है The 10th Galaxy S series flagship is going to be extraordinary, launching in February with a bezel less infinity display, an in-display fingerprint scanner and serious camera skills. Here's everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy S10. That's because we already know a hell of a lot about the new iPhone rival and, simply put, if it arrives as it currently planned to, it's going to redefine the concept of a powerhouse flagship phone. With a raft of advanced tech slated for inclusion that rival makers like Apple, HTC, Sony, and Honor Plus will be desperate to match. And, worryingly for Apple and the others, the S10 could then be followed by not just one other awesome Samsung device but two, with the South Korean makers folding Galaxy F phone. And gaming juggernaut Galaxy X handset also tipped for a 2019 release. Here we're going to disclose some news of next general tech that have been leaked or strongly rumored to be coming to the finished Galaxy S10. Samsung Galaxy S10 Specifications It's a fair bet that the Galaxy S10 will feature a new iteration of Qualcomm's Snapdragon chip, most likely the Snapdragon 855. Samsung sunk 5.6 billion into a foundry for rumored 7mm chipsets for the Galaxy S10 and Note 10 phones. Risk trials for those chips will begin later this year, with Samsung expecting mass production in early 2019 just in time for the S10s release. Samsung remains tight-lipped about the Galaxy S10, but we know one thing for sure it won't be the company's first phone with 5G. Samsung CEO DJ Ko Dongjin confirmed that fact at a press event in Korea, squashing any previous rumors that claimed otherwise. So the S10 won't be the first 5G smartphone, but that doesn't mean it can't be the second. It's still possible the Galaxy S10 could include support for faster 5G networks, but only time will tell. said Samsung is still working with local carriers to be the first to roll out a 5G phone, with plans to launch 5G in March within specific locations. But he didn't give any details on exactly which Samsung phone it will be. It's possible that it could come in the form of Samsung's foldable smartphone, known as the Galaxy X or Galaxy F. Finally, it may sound mundane but there's every reason to assume Samsung will push for increased battery life with the S10. Battery improvements were on our wish list for the Galaxy S9 too. What we saw was not impressive. Samsung boosted the battery capacity of the Note 9, however, and with rumors swirling of a new L-shaped battery boosting the phone's life, we're hopeful that the S10 will shine in this area. Samsung Galaxy S10 Security While the S9 has intelligent scan tech to take a hybrid image of your face as well as iris data, it's not secure enough for purchase verification and a far cry from the highly advanced and secure Face ID introduced on the Apple iPhone X. Samsung may change this for the S10 and introduce a new fingerprint sensor too. A patent, first discovered by Patently Mobile in July 2018, shows Samsung is actively working on an in-display fingerprint sensor. This new sensor will use ultrasound instead of images to map out one's fingerprints. It should provide a much more secure authentication source than what's currently on the market. These alterations may push Samsung to drop iris scanning from the Galaxy S10, but only if it can master the in-display sensor to accompany a new secure face recognition system. According to South Korean publication The Bell, prototype samples of the S10 have not been ordered with iris scanners, a decision that may also help offset costs if the two new security systems are being included. Software and Special Features While it's still early to know exactly what Samsung plans to bring to the Samsung Galaxy S10, we do have a few ideas. First off, 
It's almost certain Samsung's 2019 flagship will ship with Android P. We're also expecting to see a major update to Bixby since Samsung purchased Viv, a startup created by the founders of Siri, and has reportedly been working with them on Bixby for a few years. There's also the possibility that the Galaxy S10 will feature improved health apps. According to a patent recently unearthed by Let's Go Digital, Samsung is working on an app that determines your skin type and can suggest recommendations to limit sun exposure. The app will apparently use photos of different parts of your body to determine skin type. Once your skin type is registered it can constantly provide tips and measure your UV exposure. We'll be keeping a close eye on Samsung in the coming months, so watch for our updates on the latest Galaxy S10 news.